In today's video, we're going to go over the John Deere 5075E open station and cab. We'll start over here. This is the 5075E open station tractor. Uh, we have this one equipped with a Frontier grapple. So what's nice about this is uh, it's relatively easy to attach. It comes on and off real quick. The hydraulics are attached over in here. We've got a John Deere carrier, so we can do it in three different types of carriers. You've got a John Deere, which is on this one. You got a skid steer, and you also have a global to choose from. Now you would go with a global if you already have a lot of global attachments or running cases or New Holland's. Skid steer, obviously if you've got skid steers, John Deere is what most people go with to start off with with their first tractor. Working our way back here, this is the 520M loader. So what's nice about this loader is it comes off. So uh, relatively easy. You got kickstands that are down here. You just simply uh, raise the front of the tractor up in the air, put down your kickstands, lower the tractor down, and the loader will lift itself right off the tractor. Going back further on the tractor, with tires, no matter if you go open station or cab, you've got three different choices in tires. This one here is an ag tire, so it's the V, more aggressive. You have an industrial, which are called R4s. That's straight across with the lugs, and then you have a turf tire available. So this particular tractor as well is four-wheel drive. We can get them in two-wheel drive if you want. Working our way further back here, you've got your ROPS. So this particular model does have the optional canopy on it. So you can choose between if you want to just open to the weather or if you want the canopy. Uh, the ROPs do fold down, but if the canopy's in place, it does not fold down very easily. Your selective control valves here, your mid-SCVs, this is what controls the loader. So these are all in here. This particular unit's plumbed for the third function on the loader here. The dipstick for your oil is right here. To get in here to check your oil levels. And then it's the same thing on the side of the, this side of the loader here. So you still have your arms, and you still have your John Deere connects. All right, and over here we've got the 5075E as a cab. So the tractor's gonna be a lot, uh, a lot of it's gonna be the same. There'll be some differences, obviously, with the cab, with air conditioning, uh, which is very nice. Uh, it's pressurized, so if you're doing any type of work in the dust, you're not getting covered in dust. If you're brush hogging, you're not getting uh, pollen all over you, and if you run over some bees, they're not able to get to you. Uh, also, you get an air ride seat inside the cab versus a mechanical seat in your uh, open station. So, starting at the front of this tractor as well, you got the latch to open up the hood to get under there to take a look at the engine. These side panels come off as, uh, as it does as well on the open station. This particular tire is the R4 Industrials, so it's the straight lugs. Our open station is an, R3, uh, an R1 ag tire. Bring your way back, they've just moved the toolbox off the loader down a little bit lower. Fuel tank is actually accessible here on the side versus the back of the open station there. Now this is a 75 horsepower tractor, so there's no DEF. The only thing you're worrying about is just your fuel. Your boarding ladder is here. Working our way to the back of the tractor. You do have LED lights on the back of this tractor. Hazard lights up top. Hazard lights on the side with the brakes. You have a power outlet here for any type of trailer. Here's your uh, third, uh, an extra set of remotes here on the back. Again, top link, two side arms here. These are adjustable, PTO and drawbar. This right here, we get asked this frequently. This is for the washer fluid. Uh, this is where you fill that in the back. Working our way further around here on this side, battery box is down here protected away from debris. Uh, you can also get a door kit that allows you to open this to be able to go in and out and open the door on this side. Exhaust is over here. Oil, filter, uh, oil dipstick here. And then we get asked a lot, where's the, where's the product identification number? This is above that right axle. 
All right, we just did the overview of the tractor here. Now I'm going to show you inside the operator stations. All right, so what I'm going to do is walk you through the open station here that we have. So the first thing that you're going to notice when you get onto the tractor will be your transmission. So this particular one is a power reverser. So all that is is it's just a fancy way of saying that we can switch between forward and reverse when doing loader work without having to clutch. So in order to do that, you're just going to press up, uh, press up, push forward, it goes forward, pull it back towards just neutral, all the way back into reverse. So that's very handy in loader work. The next, just working our way down, the next button here, this is going to toggle through the dashboard. It's going to show you how many hours you have on the machine, how many hours are on your PTO, and ground speed. Working our way straight down here, this is going to be your turn signals. Obviously left is the left, right is the right. Working our way straight down from here, this is your tilt wheel. This is allows you to adjust the wheel to your comfort. Straight down here, that's your clutch. You need to clutch uh, if you're going to change ranges or if you're going to change actual gears. So this one has three ranges with four gears, so that's 12 forward gears and 12 reverse gears. Working our way back over here, seat belt. If you're doing loader work and we've got that ROPS up, we want you to wear that seat belt at all times. The next lever back here is your PTO switch. So it's going to switch between a standard 540 PTO and what's nice about the 5075E, it has an EPTO. Just think of it as an economy PTO. It's just going to allow the machine to burn fuel more efficiently and get you more work time out of a tank of fuel. So now with the open station, what you'll notice really is Deere has everything is designed to be subject and open to the elements. So you're going to see a lot of your controls are all closed in. The, your seats are vinyl versus cloth, just so that way that the sun and the rain doesn't tear everything up. Uh, as far as with the seat belts as well are enclosed, it's just everything's just uh, more sturdy, uh, just being open to the elements there. That's going to be your biggest difference between your open station and your cabbed up unit. <laughs> so working our way on the other side, starting at the top right, this dial here that turns on your lights and your hazards, it's just a simple twist dial that allows those to come on and off. Working our way down is where your uh, ignition switch is. It's going to start just like a car. Uh, down here at the bottom right is your brakes. So you have two pedals. You can have them uh, brake both wheels at the same time, or you can select between left and right just by hitting the left pedal versus the right pedal. Just to the right of it, orange lever down there, foot pedal, that's your foot throttle. So if you want to control the throttle with your, with your foot, you push that uh, versus a hand throttle, which I'll show you here in a second. Working straight across is where your uh, selective control valve or your joystick to control the loader is. It's very simple. You pull back, the loader goes up. Push forward, the loader goes down. Left and right will tilt that bucket, depending. So one nice thing with John Deere coming standard, you push it all the way forward. You've got a float option on this particular loader. Also, if you push it hard to the right, it's going to do a quick dump of whatever debris is in that, that loader bucket for you. Uh, working your way further down on the joystick control, this particular one's equipped with the third function with the grapple. You have one button here which will open the, the grapple and the other button closes it. And the, this particular grapple's got two different hydraulic uh, cylinders on it, so that's nice. It'll, it can, if one item's too big, the other one will close in on the other side. Uh, working your way straight down from there on the loader controls, there's a little lockout. So if you have any kids or grandkids riding with you, you can lock that into place. That way if they bump this loader control, it's not going to move. Just know that if you have the loader in the up position, it's not a safety lock. If you're working underneath of it, you always want to ground that. This lock will not hold it in the up position. It'll still allow the loader to settle. Your gear shift is over here on the far right. It's orange in color as well. Moving your way further up on the, uh, the side fender here, you've got your hand throttle. Uh, that's nice if you're doing any type of movement with the loader. I, I personally like that because when you're traveling, your foot's bouncing off that throttle and that just makes that problem a little worse. Working your way further to the right, you've got your PTO switch. It's a standard lift. You just lift up on it. That would engage the PTO, push down, and that turns it off. Then there's also another uh, little toggle switch here for the EPTO. You'll press that if you want to use that particular feature. Then moving your way further back, Deere's just recently changed this. This is a push button four wheel drive. You simply uh, rock that panel forward. You're in four wheel drive, rock it back, you're back into two wheel drive. And then they also have back here a nice a cup holder for you. Working your way down the levers inside the, the fender well here. You have a position control. 
uh, lever, which will be closest to you. And then on the outside of that, you'll have a uh, position control as well. Then further down here, you have your, uh, you have two remotes on the back of the tractor. Those are controlled with these two levers here. Then just right behind the seat belt, there's this little twist dial. What that is, is that's a friction through your, for your three-point arms. That'll allow your arms to move slower to a more precise position. So now we're inside the 5075E cab version. This is one of my favorites here. What's nice about the cab as well is you got a radio available, you've got air conditioning, you're protected from the elements and any of the animals, that are, the bees and all that that might be out there. So just going around the different controls here, uh, we'll start here in the, uh, on the, the dash here. So just like the other tractor, this one's a power reverser. It works under the same pre premise, lift forward, uh, lift up, push forward, it goes into fo re forward, pull it back towards you, it's in reverse, back to neutral. Very, very simple. Working our way down over here, some of the controls are a bit different. Like I said, we're inside, we're protected from the elements. It allows deer to give us some uh, creature comforts. Turn signals right here, working our way straight down from there. Just like on the open station, you have a little toggle here. That toggles your display, showing you your, uh, showing your miles per hour, your hours on the machine, hours on the PTO. The next switch over here, this is the lights. That controls the cab lights. This particular model has uh, LEDs on the front and LEDs on the back. Working our way straight down, here is where your, uh, your headlights and your flashers are controlled. It's just a simple twist dial right there for you. Uh, moving straight to the center of the tractor here, this is your adjustment for your tilt wheel. Working our way straight down, brake pedal is right here. I'm sorry, clutch, you just push this here and this is your clutch. Your controls for your air ride seat are right in here. If you look, you stand up and sit back down, it gives you a nice suspension versus that one over there that's kind of mechanical and your backside is the suspension. We're working our way back to our fender wells over here. Not too much in here. You got a little cubby in here for storage. You've got some a drink holder and a place to put your gloves. The armrests do move. You got your seat belt latches over here. Working your way to the right side of the dash here. This is what controls your wipers. So you've got uh, front wiper control over here, and then also if you want to turn the the windshield uh, washer is controlled over here. So you do have ha you do have some punch outs for some other attachments that you would want to put on here, extra lights, etc. Breaking down over here is your ignition. It starts just like a car. You got to push in the clutch and off you go. Your brake pedals over here. So just like the other tractor, you got one pedal for the left wheel, one pedal for the right pe right wheel and you can connect them to break both of the wheels together much like you would in a car. You have a foot throttle right over here, just to the right, our loader control. This particular one doesn't have a loader attached to it yet, so we don't have that grapple attachment, that third function. So, but uh, it would work under the same premise, pull back, the loader goes up, push forward, the loader goes down, left and right, it'll tilt that bucket for you. Working your way straight down, we still have a lockout here. It's twist just like the other tractor. In your way back over, you have what's nice about the uh, cab version, you have all of your gears are all controlled right here in the same location. So you got your ranges here, and you got your four gears over here on the right. Working our way straight back further this way, we've got our three-point arm controls here. You've got your Right here off to the side of that, you've got your remote controls, so that the remotes that are on the back, and then inboard your three-point arms and your position controls. Your hand throttle. Moving straight back, you've got your PTO. Moving further back on the, you've got your four-wheel drive controls, so push button to four-wheel drive, push button to two-wheel drive, and then you've got your little toggle here for your EPTO, and then you've got a switch here if you want to put it on a console. It allows you to plug into the tractor systems. Also, what's nice about this particular one as well, you have a power outlet if you want to charge your phone as you're going. Then working our way up to the top, you have a place to mount the radio. Uh, it's just a standard car radio will go in here. It's already pre-wired with the speakers and with your antenna. AC controls are here, vents, and then AC on and off, heat, and fan controls. And then over here on the left-hand side would be your lights, your cab lights, if you want to turn them on and off, those are there. And it comes standard with your rear view mirror. 
So now just looking at just what you get in the cab that you won't see on the open station, you get that nice, really nice suspension seat uh, that if you're going to be in the machine for long periods of time, that's certainly nice. Also, the ability to have AC and heat is huge. Uh, the radio, as far as with incre increasing efficiency, so if you're going to have anybody working with you, they're going to be in the cab for long periods of time, it keeps their attention and allows them to stay in there typically longer. Uh, other than that, you're going to see a lot of the same controls, but again, the, the seat and the AC, well worth the investment. Uh, thank you guys so very much for watching. If you have any questions, just drop a comment below.